Shabbat Shalom, little Hebrews, and now part two of the Valley of Dry Bones. So you know what Ezekiel did? He prophesied as Yah commanded him, and the breath of life came into those bones, little Hebrews, and they lived and stood up on their feet. They were a great army. Yah told Ezekiel that those bones are the whole house of Yisrael. Behold, they say our bones are dried and our hope is lost. We are cut off for our parts. So after Ezekiel prophesied to the winds, and the winds came and blew up on spiritually dead Israel, they came alive and became the righteous nation Yah intended them to be. They were no longer a dead people, little Hebrews. They were alive. This is our future, little Hebrews. This is what will happen to Israel when Yahoshua our Mashiach returns. The nation of Yisrael will come alive. When you look at us right now, there is very little or no hope in Yisrael. We have just about given up. We are dry bones, but we have a beautiful promise, little Hebrews. We will be returned to our land, to our culture, to our heritage, and to our Yah. You see, little Hebrews, it's all about Yah and only Yah. Yah will bring Yisrael out of the spiritual death. The story of the dry bones is about the death and resurrection of the Yisraelite nation. Once Yah brings life back to Yisrael, he will bring us into the land of Yisrael, and we will no longer be a people without a heritage or without a culture or without an identity. We will know Yah and no longer be spiritually dead. Yah promises that he will put his spirit in Yisrael and we will live and Yah will place Yisrael in our land and we will know that Yah spoke it and Yah did it. Little Hebrews, Yah also, also told Ezekiel that he would take the children of Yisrael from among the heathen. Yah said he would gather the children of Yisrael on every side and bring them into their own land. And Yah said he would make Yisrael one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel, of Yisrael. And one king will be king to them all. And they shall no longer be two nations, neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms anymore at all. And Yah said, little Hebrews, in Ezekiel 37 and 23, that Yisrael would no longer defile or make themselves unclean anymore with their idols or with their abominable things or with any of their transgressions. But Yah himself will save Yisrael out of all their dwelling places where they have sinned and will cleanse Yisrael. So shall they be my people and I will be their Yah, their power. Little Hebrews, as we see more and more of our Hebrew people awakening and finding Yah's way, we are seeing his prophecy is being fulfilled. The breath is being blown back into Yisrael. Those dry bones are becoming alive. Yisrael will become a mighty righteous army standing strong on our feet. No longer in the valley, no longer dry bones. We will perform the righteous judgment of Yah throughout the earth. Hallelujah and little Hebrews. This is our lesson on the Valley of Dry Bones. Hallelujah. Yah bless you and shalom, shalom.